Photo Radar is coming to Toronto streets and it's coming soon. I'm Christina Howard and just earlier today, the city received a list of regulations on how they can implement this technology across the 416. Now, this comes after more than 35 pedestrians have been killed by drivers and many of those deaths involve speeding. We want to make sure that uh, municipalities have the tools that they need if they wish to bring in automated speed enforcement in designated community safety zones and in school zones. And so the regulations prescribe um, some clear regulations around the signage so that it's consistent across the province and camera placement. Each municipality will have the choice as to whether or not they want to implement the program. But a pilot project in Toronto late last year where radar was used but tickets weren't issued revealed over 100,000 speeders on a weekly basis in eight targeted school zones. Automated speed enforcement is something Mayor John Tory has long called for, asking former Premier Wynne for the capabilities and reiterating those asks to Premier Ford. We've already identified 50 uh, places for starters where you could put these and we intend to move them around, but we're going to move them around based on where the problem exists uh, at its worst in terms of the actual collisions and injuries and deaths taking place. Uh, and I think it's going to send the message loud and clear. There'll be lots of signage telling people it's there. This is very different from the unpopular photo radar introduced by Bob Ray in the 1990s. Photo radar uh, was on our provincial highways. These are, as I said, in, in municipalities in certain zones, designated community safety zones and school zone areas. In Toronto, that means 50 targeted locations, two in each ward. Other cities like Mississauga also have plans to use the program and even the opposition is on board with making school zones safer for kids and pedestrians. As long as we are getting, um, you know, the kind of uh, changed behavior uh, and the kind of um, reduction in accidents and near misses that, uh, that can occur in a school zone, then I think that that, that uh, uh, photo radar in school zones is doing its job. Now, municipalities have the opportunity to provide feedback on these regulations before the program comes into effect. The minister says she'd like to see it in place sooner rather than later.